Now let's see how we can compare mean and mode. As we have discussed about mean and the mode for the group data, let's recall the previous example problem and see how the comparison is done between mean and mode for better understanding of the topic connected with real life. So as taken with from previous example, I got my mean is 62 and my mode which I obtained as 52. So with these values, I would like to compare because the previous problem was referring to the marks as obtained in the subject of mathematics by the students in the class. Therefore, this value gives me that mean equal to 62 means it means on average each student got 62 marks out of 100 in mathematics is what I understand with mean equal to 6, 62. It means on average each student got 62 marks out of 100 in max. Similarly, mod equal to this, 52 implies it means most number of students got 52 marks in the whole class of course out of 100 <coughs> is how I understand the mode and mean compared connected to real life. So when I come to mode it means the most number of students who got 52 marks. This is on average each student got 62 marks. So mean refers to the average and mode refer refers to the most number of times or most occurring part. Therefore, each of the definition of mean and mode have their own respective understandings as seen through this example. Mean is average of each student and mode is most number of students getting that particular marks. Here mode is 52 and mean is 62 is how I understand the difference between mean and mode. Next, the third measure of central tendency is median. Mode, mean, mode and median. So what is median? One of the measure of central tendency which I have identified here is median. So what is a median? So median is generally referred as the middle most value. So when I basically understand median, I understand this as middle most value of the data or of the observation is called the median. Of course, the rule here is that we take the data or observation is arranged in order. Generally, we arrange in order. Either it can be ascending or descending order. The first and foremost rule of identifying the median is initially the data being arranged <coughs> in ascending or descending order. Then the middlemost value of the data is nothing but median. For example, I take 5, 4, 3, 6, 1, 2, 9. <coughs> So I try to arrange this in order so that this on order gives 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 9. Now as I see the middlemost value, I get it by cancelling this with this, this with this, this with this and this is the middlemost value. Therefore, this middlemost value is called median. Therefore, in this case, the middlemost value being 4 here, median is identified to be 4 is how we understand median connected with the data, the middlemost value. <coughs> now interestingly, here I identify that if I have two values which come as the middle value, say for example, the number of observations here is 7, but if I have 8, that is if n is even, 
So the number of data is 8. I have two values which are the middle values. The question out here comes which value is considered to be the median. If you have two numbers in the middle, how do we calculate the median is the biggest question if n is even. So therefore, let's see two different cases where n is even and n is odd. This example where n is odd. n is the number of observations. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So n is odd. Therefore, I got median as 4. So let's come with two different special cases, n even and n odd.